Hi guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. My name is Devin, and today we're going to be talking about the Canvas Scalar component on the new Unity 4.6 UI um, Canvas game object. Uh, so if we go to the Canvas game object, you'll see the Canvas Scalar component, uh, which we will talk about in a second. Um, we're going to use it to scale all of the images and UI elements underneath this Canvas game object. Uh, in a previous video, I talked about uh, these anchor points right here and how we can use them to scale UI elements. Um, and I'll link to that video in, a pre in, a, in the description below. Uh, but we can set these anchors and scale it, and you'll see that the uh, image squashes and stretches to match, uh, match the, the new resolution. <laughs> Um, but say we want it to remain a perfect square and not squash and stretch like this. We can um, check on this preserve aspect ratio, uh, which or preserve aspect checkbox, which I talked about briefly in the previous video. Uh, but for it to work, you need a sprite in there. So now you can see when uh, when the aspect ratio changes, this thing scales, but it remains a square, and it you know does so based on the shortest length of this anchor bounding box. Um, right, so let's say, boop, let's say we don't want to mess with the anchors, um, but we do want it to scale and remain a perfect uh, square. Perfect square. Uh, we can do that with the canvas scalar component if we switch it to scale with screen size. Um, and now you'll see that it scales up and down uh, without me having to customize where these anchor points are, or check on this checkbox. Um, you can give it a reference resolution, so let's say this 395 by 269. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, you'll notice that it's also uh, scaling when I change the height, but not when I change or the width, but not when I change the height. Uh, the reason for that is because of this slider, we can tell it to be totally height based um, for its scaling. So it scales there, but not here. Or we could pick, you know, some middle ground. Um, I'm going to stick with just width, keep it simple. Um, right, so that's pretty much it. That's how you can use the canvas scaler. Uh, now let's look at how we can use the canvas scalar component along with the uh, anchor system. So let's say we want this banner across the top, and we want it to be pinned in the upper left corner. Um, and now when we scale the screen, you'll see that this, uh, this banner is scaling both uh, horizontally and vertically, but being pinned in the upper left corner. Uh, let's say that we don't want it to scale uh, vertically, but we do want it to scale horizontally. We can uh, separate these anchor points like that, and now um, the image will never go past this line. So if I scale this time, you'll see that this, uh, this never gets larger uh, like it did before. So again, if I switch this back, you'll see that it scales down a little, or scales up in a downward direction, I guess. Right. Um, right, and this this same effect that we're using for the banner can be achieved uh, with only anchors. So let's let's turn off the canvas scaler for a second, and you'll see that um, it's no longer scaling to stretch uh, horizontally. Uh, we can fix that by moving the anchors over here and moving this guy over to the anchors. And now that top banner has the same effect as it did before with the canvas scaler. Um, yeah. And we can turn on the canvas scaler again to get this guy working. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is, in a nutshell, how to use the canvas scaler component along with anchor points and use them to get the proper scale for your UI elements. Um, yeah, so 
Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if it was. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at divination 3 d or go to my website, divination.com. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook and uh, Google+. Uh, follow me on any of those things to get updates whenever I publish a new video. Um, yeah, so thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.